What's up, my bitches? My dirty little gorilla fingers. Oh, dust. I want to talk to you today. That came out of nowhere, right? I want to talk to you today about strange ways that people try to pay for your services. You know, people try to do shit like they'll try to pawn some damn push mower or a bench chef weed eater or a grill or some dumbass shit on you. Don't do it, people. What the hell? They're back. I don't know what's, I don't know what's going on. Fuck. I'm feeling the need to shoot a little of my knowledge your way. I know the majority of my audience has below average brain capacity. So therefore I have to talk down to you. So I apologize in advance to anyone who has a brain that is larger than pea-sized. If you're spreading seed, fertilizer, lime, whatever it may be, blow the sidewalks off. Duh. Dumbasses. Today, I have a titillating tale to tell you. But that'll have to wait for later, because I want you to watch the rest of this shit. I've got a couple more things to do. I might shoot some footage, I might not. You know, it's up to me. You'll be lucky if you see it. Okay, you talk me into it. Here's some footage that I know you can't help but love.
And now the time has come, kiddies, for the titillating tale of two trees. See, we were on a job site, multiple day job, cutting down these two huge chestnut trees from this lady's front yard. Well, we get done. Now it was time to, for Mick to collect his green, baby. Cash on the barrel head. Well, she was nowhere to be found. I was pissed. But later she texted me. She was like, Mick, is it okay if I pay you tomorrow? I said, fuck, yeah, I guess. So the next day I go to pick up my damn check. She owes me 3,000 smackers. So I get over there and she's like, hi, Mickey, my big stud muffin, my manly man of all men. My budget's a little tight right now. And by budget, she meant her Hoo-hoo. She said, how about if I give you a $1,500 check now? And then tomorrow, you can come over and party with me and my besties at a pool party. And I was like, lady, I'm fucking disgusted by this. Thoroughly immoral, totally unprofessional. And yes, I'll be there. What time? Well, I show up the next day to get my payment. You know what I'm saying? And it turns out she was just wanting to pay me the balance the next day. And she just so happened to be having a pool party. And I show up with my pecker out. And I get arrested. And I never get paid the balance. I get fired. And yeah, not a good day. But the moral to this story is you got to take a shot. Oh my goodness, King Brando, look, I, lock, I know, I'm glad that you like the arcade, I made it for you, and you're very good at this game, it's your favourite game, but I can't afford to keep on filling this up, I just filled it up two days ago. Oh, this is ridiculous.